A-level hey, biology was my hardest subject at GCSE and A-levels, but I still managed to get A in it. And I'm going to explain how in this video. In my GCSEs, I got a six in GCSE biology, which isn't bad, but isn't too great. And somehow I got A in my A-levels. And I'm going to teach you how, because going from a six to an A is very hard. And if it proves anything, it proves that you don't need any prior knowledge to do well in A-level biology or any other A-level, but obviously A-level biology for this video. It's AQA, A-level biology and A-level chemistry. Both available on the website on sale for this video and these decks are really really good they have over 1700 cards each i'll leave some examples on the screen if i can if i can take some and yeah so they use the close feature and normal flashcards so it's pretty much filling the gaps or normal flashcards as both uses photos it helps you understand it flashcards are some of the best ways to revise i use anki right now to revise and making your own flashcards takes hours but pre-made ones 20 quid or both together for 30 quid I think that's a good deal. Like, is it not worth six months of your time? Is it worth it? Would you rather spend six months of your time? Would you rather spend six months of your time making Anki cards or just buy some for 20 or 30 quid, depending on if you want both or just one subject. Now with these Anki flashcards, you can use them as your main source of revision or as your second source of revision. And I'll explain how. So as your main source of revision, you'll do it to understand the content, to boost your knowledge, and then do past papers on the side. Or you can do the, your main source of revision whatever it is youtube notes textbooks and then do the flashcards as a sort of way to just test your knowledge and do past papers on the side as well the cheat sheets and the flashcards are currently on sale so if you're interested link in description um yeah so first up i'm going to explain what to do during exam season obviously exam season is just around the corner so a lot of you are probably watching this and you have your exams going up so don't worry i'm here to help you and if you're watching this in september november december sometime and you don't know how to revise for the rest of the year then well done for watching this video and uh, skip later on in the video. So biology is a weird subject as a very dodgy mark scheme. Like the mark scheme doesn't make sense. So you need to try and understand it. The best thing I did was watching YouTube videos of like people answering A-level biology questions because then you can see what's running through their brains, like how they're processing the question and how they're actually answering. By seeing their thought process behind it, it helps you understand the questions more and you can answer questions better. If that makes sense. Now, the second thing you can do is go through the mark schemes of papers and improve your notes or your flashcards. So if there's anything that you haven't written about in your notes or you haven't got a flashcard on it, then just add to it from the mark scheme. So once you add from the mark schemes, your notes just become OP. You have everything in your flashcards and notes. So then when you do these flashcards or notes, the day before your exam, a couple of days before your exam, you're going over everything you need to know. Now, if you don't already have a set of notes, what you can do is watch the YouTube videos that are like two hour long that cover each topic. Now, this isn't the best method, but it's like the fastest way to do it. And obviously you don't have that much time. So if you don't have a set of cards or a set of notes, then you can use that. You can also use cheat sheets. Obviously I'm selling the cheat sheets down below of like um, kidneys, uh, respiration, some other topics, or you can find cheat sheets online for other topics. It's up to you really. The cheat sheets are actually really good because they cover the content in depth. The YouTube videos aren't as great, but they cover everything. So let's say you have a set of notes or flashcards and what you're doing is going through the mark scheme, add into it. You've got this OP set of notes now. You're ready for your exam. Make sure you're setting time aside to do past paper questions because biology is such a weird subject. You need to be able to answer the questions and you need to know what they're looking for in a mark scheme, if that makes sense. And make sure you have a schedule. A revision schedule is just going to help you procrastinate less and be more efficient with your revision. Write out all the topics you need to revise, how many days you have left. Therefore, you can see how many topics you have to do per day. Or how many days you have to revise per topic because a topic a day is going to be hard so staying on the topic of revision schedule let's talk about how you're going to revise throughout the whole year now so let's say you're in september november now and you got your a levels going up in a couple of months what are you going to do first thing is make a revision schedule and what this revision schedule is going to do is keep you organized and get you to actually work every single day what i did was one hour every day after college per subject so it's three hours per day after college maths, chemistry, biology. So leave one hour for biology every day after college. And what you're gonna do in that is cover what was taught in that lesson. Now you can use YouTubers. My go-tos were Miss Estrich and A-Level Biology Help. Miss Estrich just explains it really well. A-Level Biology Help was good because she also went through questions at the end. So you can see how the topic links to the questions on the mark scheme. And just stay on top of your work because you don't wanna fall behind. Now, if you do buy the pre-made flashcards, what you can do is just go over them flashcards once you're at home through the, for what, whatever lesson you had. Now, this is really good because it doesn't take up any of your time to make the cards. If you are making cards or notes, then it's probably going to take you a long time and you're going to have to 
spending no time to go over them to learn them. The big thing I changed from GCSE to A-levels was actually listening in class and asking my teacher questions because GCSE biology, I'll be sat in class just clueless. Just my brain, da -da 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 -da, nothing going on in there. I was just there watching plants or whatever on the, on the screen. A-level biology, I actually started listening. I was thinking, wait, why is this like this? Why is that like that? I'll ask questions about everything and make notes of it and go home and read over them notes. That way I knew everything from that lesson inside out. Use your teachers. I was very lucky I had a really good biology teacher when I was in college. I know a lot of schools probably don't have great teachers, but still use your teachers because they know everything most of the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat useful to you. These are techniques that I used and you can use them too, I guess. If you have any questions, you can message me on Instagram at studyplate or TikTok at studyplate. Or if you have any business inquiries, email is in the description. Thanks for watching.